Hi there, Simon from SimonWater at uh, No, I'm not in London, uh, so I shouldn't be celebrating uh, London Sherry Week, which apparently, according to a bit of, bit of paper I've got here, runs from the 7th to the 13th of November. Uh, it's the 4th of November as I'm doing this video, so uh, uh, yes, I, I'll, I'm getting in there a few days early, and uh, I'm hoping that the sherry love spreads around the country from London, because uh, it's a wine that uh, we all need to... Uh, drink, be drinking more of. Well, maybe, maybe not all of us, but um, most of us need to be drinking more of. Um, so I've got four uh, sherries today from uh, Barbadillo. Uh, let's just set into them. Uh, first one is the uh, Manthania Solear. Um, six quid for a half bottle. And uh, let's just give this a whirl. Crisp, salty, slightly nutty. It smells like it's going to have um, classic bread a dough, a just rising bread dough, you know, you, you, you get that sort of the yeasty pungency. It's got that, um, and yeah, it feels like it's going to be textbook manthania. Oh, I got my spittoon ready, but I didn't use it. Um, I just love that persistence about it. Um, it, it Sherry's a funny, a funny beast, because um, there's the soft flavours and there's crisp flavours. There's texture, there's flavour. And um, this is the sort of thing that you can almost feel it preparing your mouth for food. I really want to dive into, I haven't got any piles of jamon or manchego cheese or even cashews or even Pringles to dig into with that. But um, that's the sort of thing that, that I want, something nice and uh, with a, a salty tang just like this has got. There are saltier manthanias than this, but um, this um, it has got quite a nice persistent flavour and uh, keeps you wanting to come back for more so shame to waste this bit oh love it right next one um we are uh, this is manzanilla passada en rama um uh, de la pastora um so uh, let's give this one a whirl well the idea of uh, en rama sherries is that they are um well, they, they, they start off pretty much like the the first one did they the uh uh, the Solear, but uh, they're they're drawn straight from the cask and with virtually no fining, virtually no filtration, plonked straight into uh, into a bottle. So they're uh, on the maybe the purest of um, uh, Fino and Manthania style of sherry. And uh, so when I stick my nose in here, it feels like a um, a more tender version of, uh, of of the first one. It feels like it's got gentler. Um, more floral flavours. It feels like there's a little bit more fruit. Maybe it doesn't. It, it doesn't feel like it's going to be as crisp. But um, there's going to be other things going on in there. And I notice the uh, pungence, the more more of a yeasty pungency there than I did in the first one. Um, uh, and whereas the first one felt like here I am, I'm ready to go and uh, drink me now. There's something about this that makes me think I want to almost decant it and uh, not lot serve it over several uh, several hours but it feels like it's a wine that needs to um uh, to flesh out and uh, so um i've got both of these and i'll keep an eye on them over the next few hours and try and find some ham on and nuts and manchego cheese because uh, i've got myself dribbling here and drooling hopefully i've uh, got a nice white clean surface so you can't see it but um, that's pretty tasty wine number three um, so this is, uh, we're on Amontillado here, um, this is the aged 12 years Principe de Barbadillo. Give it a whirl. Well, I don't know if you can see the colour, it's a lot uh, against my purple t-shirt. Um, it's, um, it's, it, it's a lot browner and uh, yeah, more amber in colour than the, uh, the, the pale, pale gold of the, the previous two. Uh, I gather that um, this particular cuvee starts off um, not too far removed from the Soleil. Uh, but then after uh, after a few years under the floor uh, they let the, the the floor they let the floor die off and the the wine oxidizes in barrel deepening in color and uh, so when i stick my nose in here it's those um, uh, really it, what i call dried fruit cake flavors and um, i think when i th when i say that i i mean that it's those dried fruit uh, walnuts a uh, bit of the candied peel in there, 
Uh, but instead of having the sweetness of cake, it feels like it's going to be bone dry. So there's this, um, I, I don't know if I can smell something that's searing, but it feels like there's going to be this uh, real rapier uh, backbone of acidity just to keep it all fresh, keep it, um, maybe not acidity, but this, this, this weird thing that oxidation does to, to some wines. It almost seems to provide some acidity and to, to, to provide freshness for, uh, to keep something a, a wine like this going. And um, it smells intriguing. It smells like I want to uh, to, to to jump in there and uh, uh, swallow a lot. So I, I might do that. Mm, very rich, but but bone dry, and you can feel you can, in, in the way that the first two were. You you felt you felt them excavating and uncovering all the taste buds in your mouth. This is doing it to the power of excavating your taste buds. It feels. Um, it, it really does get your salivary glands going. Really long, complex, heady, but um, not so overwhelming in flavour that um, uh, you sort of go, oh, God, put me down, undo my stays, Mr Darcy, or something like that. But um, I've, I've had wines like this. Um, uh, yes, I'd, lo I'd love to have it with some cheese and nuts, but I've had wines like this served with steak, and it goes down, it goes down really well, especially if you dribble a little bit into the... Uh, into the pan after you've cooked your steak and let it uh, just bubble a bit. Favourite so far. Final one. Uh, La Silla Pedro Eximanes. That's really La Cia. Um, I'm sorry, but every time I see a wine called Silla, I have to think it's a lot of, a lot of wine, uh, which will probably not mean anything if you're watching this from outside uh, uh, the UK. But um, if you were a Silla fan... Um, well, I pity you, but uh, if you were a Silla, Silla fan, uh, then you will remember Miss Silla Black, friend of the Beatles, and uh, one of the exports of Liverpool at the same time as the Beatles, and uh, sadly now not with us anymore. Anyway, Pedro Jimenez, um, and uh, I look at the colour of this when I've just, I've just poured it out. There are some of them uh, that yeah, they are much deeper in colour than this. And sometimes they're almost too much of a good thing. Here, actually, I don't need to swirl my glass. I can, I can smell it coming out and, uh, and greeting me. And it, it, it's bonfire night tomorrow. And it just smells like someone has distilled treacle toffee and uh, poured it into your glass. Uh, so there's these little, yeah, there's the caramel. There's a little bit of um, dried fig in there and all this raisin and toffee. And um, it smells like it's going to be uh, voluptuous. And what's good about it, sometimes I find PX almost too much of a good thing. It is voluptuous here, but there's this nice edge of um, uh, ripe orange and crystallised orange acidity to freshen up the finish. I wouldn't want to sit down and uh, drink an awful lot of this. I can't think of, a, not, that, not that wine writers get drunk, but I can't think of any worse drink to get drunk on than uh, uh, than, than uh, PX, as Pedro Ximenez is known. Actually, Advocat would be pretty bad. But uh, here, um, it's not too it's not too concentrated. You can drink it rather than uh, serve it by the spoonful. Uh, so um, if I have a glass of this, uh, what I love to do is um, have it with some really nice vanilla ice cream. And it's half a glass for Simon, half the glass to pour over the... Uh, over the vanilla ice cream and impromptu sauce. Um, it's not my favourite of the of the quartet. Uh, I, I I like them all, but I, I mean the the Amontillado stands out for me as the uh, star of the range. But um, all the rest of them have got something to say for themselves. So um, it's London Sherry Week starting seventh of November, and um, it, so if you're in London, go out and uh, drink lots of sherry. And if you're not in London, go out and drink lots of sherry. And I'll see you soon.